The city council is moving forward regarding the potential sale of the city's annex building. And WGEM Shakela McCammick joins us live in Quincy with more on when we could see that happen. Shakela. Good evening, Mackenzie and Daniel. After weeks of discussion, the Quincy City Council has approved an ordinance that spells out the price at which the township should purchase the city's annex building, and that is $1. A township me meeting was called at the beginning of tonight's city council meeting where an ordinance was approved allowing the township to purchase the building for that price. That price was chosen because taxpayers have already purchased the building and officials say they shouldn't have their taxes going to pay that off again. After concluding the township board meeting, city council met and tabled the resolution for the township to actually purchase the building due to some aldermen being absent and not able to vote this evening. Quincy Township Supervisor Maggie Hoyt says she's cautiously optimistic for a decision to be made next week. When it was going to be voted on as a city, it needed a super majority. We would have needed 10 aldermen in order to approve that. We had three aldermen missing from tonight's council meeting. It is going to be tabled for an additional week with the hopes that we will have enough aldermen to be able to approve it at next week's committee meeting. You'll remember it was initially proposed that the township would purchase the building for $347,000. Hoyt says that money will now be used to complete the more than $330,000 of repairs estimated that the annex needs. Live in Quincy, Shakela McCammick, WGEM News. Okay, thank you so much, Shakela. And also discussed at council tonight, a petition asking the city to let people drink alcohol on the street during Q&D baseball games. So this would only be allowed, however, on 9th Street between Jackson and Van Buren, and it would happen only on April 5th, 8th, and 28th, and May 1st, 2nd, 5th, 6th, 10th, and 13th. And then an ordinance was drafted to rezone 301 Spring Street to a downtown industrial area. It's so an indoor recreation facility can be built at that address.